intensity as they try to pick up a win on the road. And the starting group for the Celtics. The two Jays, Brown at the three and Tatum at the four. Holiday at the one with White at the two. And it's Horford in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Warriors, inside it's Green next to Jackson Davis. Moody is out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. Year after year, this early portion of the season is characterized by a great deal of overreaction, Grant. The media and fans build up a lot of expectations in the offseason. And it's not that bad, but when those expectations aren't met, watch out. <laughs> Listen, we all just need to settle down and see how things play out. The season is still very young. Green finds Curry. And a foul Austin called foul. on the way up. Drew so he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Drew Holiday. Curry excellent at reading the defense and taking advantage of any mistake. Brent, you could hit the three back in your day, and no doubt, Stephen Curry is the best three-point shooter in league history. What makes him so good from deep? To me, B.A., it comes down to the way that Steph goes about his habits in practice. If you ever watch footage of him in pregame warm-ups or in the offseason, there is so much variability in what he does in terms of preparing his feet and hands to shoot the basketball. There's no one that practices the way that Steph does, and there's no one that produces the way that he does either. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have on the floor. Embraces the competition, but is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. And that's good as he hits both shots. And Grant, once again, Stephen Curry hit 300 threes last season. And he's in a class of his own. Well, there have been seven 300-plus three-point seasons ever. Stephen has five of them. He has the only 400 three-point year ever. So, yeah, B.A., Stephen has created his own class. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by White. Remains Golden State basketball. About a minute into this first quarter, outside Green. To the middle, Jackson Davis. And that comes off the assist by Green. Well, he can be so good in the pick and roll. When he collects the ball, he knows where everyone is on the floor. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Steve Kerr gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. I asked him about the star power that they're up against tonight, and he said, quote, I'm not worried about the highlight reel plays. I'm worried about the relentless nature of that team over there. And the ringleader is Drew Holiday. He plays every possession on both ends of the floor. Thanks for that, Allie. Pass to Curry. To the paint. Here's Jackson Davis. Horford pulls it in. The Celtics have gone one for three so far. Wiggins against Brown. Here's Holiday. Tatum from long range. Jackson Davis grabs the miss. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Wiggins down low. Brown's there. Outside Curry. For three. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Drains the triple. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high-volume three-point shooter. Curry against Holiday. Moody from outside. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And that's what they want to do. Get 
Tatum open looks early. You know, not too many teams have the stability of head coaches the Warriors have had, Brent. Well, I'm not sure there's ever been a more perfect fit for a team than Steve Kerr with the Golden State Warriors. It has been a magical run in the Bay Area, and you just look at the type of connectivity he has with his players, and again, how much joy these Warriors play with. Moody passes to Curry, and here is Green. On the wing, Curry fires the three. That shot off. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's White, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Moses Moody. Boston shooting their first free throws here for the night. Derek White, two shots. And falls for him. And a new group getting ready for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Jackson Davis. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. Heald's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Brandon Pajimski in for Moody. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Right hits them both. Two part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Curry against Holiday. Pass to Kaminga. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. With his finesse and his power, Kaminga can make it real tough inside. And Brent, you've always seen the flashes. But now it seems the game is slowed down for Kaminga. Well, B.A., a lot of fans clamoring for Kaminga to get minutes even earlier on. But the Warriors took a very slow approach to his development. And now you're starting to see some of that athleticism and strength and some of that patience paying off for Jonathan Kaminga. To the inside. And the basket by Looney. Come on, Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Grant, they could attempt a two-for-one here. They could. The key here is a good look. And here's Brown for three. Buries it from three. Brown's got seven. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Curry against Holiday. Outside Pajemski. Boston foul. Derek White. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Pajewski, two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Boston has gone two for four from range to start things off. Tatum against Kaminga. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Can't get it to drop. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. The Warriors on top. They lead by one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. They're looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. Grant, when you talk about consistency and officiating game to game, 
You think there's room for improvement? You know, I do think so. I mean, they're allowing more contact, but overall, more clarity on what constitutes legal guarding position would help players and officials. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Pritchard and White at the one and the two. Jason Tatum out there with Luke Cornett and it's Hauser in at the three spot. Anderson that time shooting without any hesitation. Slow-mo getting one off. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. No surprise here. Stephen Curry hopes to be a warrior for life. He said being a part of a group of legends that have played for one franchise, established a culture, and won at the highest level, and did it with a lot of different roster combinations, I don't ever take that for granted. Brian, what a run. Yeah, it is a great run, and he's been the foundation, Allie. Thank you. He's got his first free throws of the night right here. Two shots. That one misses. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Good on the second one. The Warriors leading. Now here's Anderson. He had nine points in his last time out. The kick out, Curry. There's the triple. Curry splashes it in. And almost always stamps for Curry at this point. Makes the three look so easy. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Shoots from the line. Offensive board. That's a pure effort play. Nice tip in. And that's a skill you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Heel passes to Anderson. Outside Pajemski. Pass to Curry. Six on the shot clock. This one for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Coming off a win against the Hornets. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. And the shot goes down. And that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Let's it go from 11. Curry, no good. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. Pass to Hauser. Here's Cornette. Green covering. Here's Tatum. And he misses the go-ahead basket. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. And that one's good. Green. That's a tough one there from Draymond Green. As tough as they come. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Anderson passes to Curry. Oh, nice job in the paint from Curry. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Anderson against Tatum. 152 left in the first half. Second chance shot. Cornette can't hit. The Warriors lead by five. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Second personal foul. First team foul. And 
let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision? Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is Find something the that they're Find being the encouraged to do because right now they feel like the faster team. And Anderson, no good on that one. Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. Horford inside, pounded by Wiggins. Oh, and he makes it. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Curry against Holiday. Now here's Wiggins. He's closely guarded. Celtics trail by five. Outside White. Pass to Keita. Back to White. Over heel. Here's Keita. Right side Brown. Shoots over Wiggins. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. What makes Brown special is his blend of smarts and effort level. Not just an intelligent player, he also gives you a phenomenal amount of energy out there. Boston shooting their fifth and sixth free throw attempts tonight. Free throw good. Brown. Gets them both. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Curry surveys. Pass to Wiggins. 30 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Oh, look at Green getting his inside. And Draymond did a good job of getting some space there and rooting himself to collect. Here's Holiday. Rebounded by Green. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you gotta look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They ended the period holding on to it. And that'll... And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Wow, it's been quite a game for Jalen Brown. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. Stephen Curry is out there with Moody, and it's Jackson Davis in at the five. That's the Warriors five. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. They trail by seven. Next up, they'll face the Hawks in Atlanta. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. The Warriors shooting 52% from the floor so far. And let's talk about Draymond Green for a moment. Certainly one of the most outspoken players in the league, Brent. Well, Draymond has never held back. 
whether he's talking about his opinion or the way that he sees the game, which is remarkable and a revelation to his intelligence as a defender on the floor. Draymond Green has been special on the defensive end throughout his career. Here's Tatum. Oh, and a great Tatum. bucket from Tatum. Taking the hit. And Jason Tatum was fearless on that finish. Went right through the contact. Curry finds Wiggins. Shoots over Brown. And the Warriors miss again. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. Jaylen that one Brown. drops for him. When Brown gets the ball this close in, he knows he can finish. Just a matter of execution. Pass to Jackson Davis. Back to Wiggins. Shoots over Brown. And again, no good by Golden State. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. The Warriors lead by three. Moody on the wing. Wiggins, left side. And he's going for the oop here! We love how eager Wiggins is to involve his teammates. That's a nice assist. For Boston, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Pass to Holiday. Horford outside. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Personal foul. That's a big boy basket from Horford. Fouled, but still got it to fall. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Warriors make some changes. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Green, and it's Brandon Pajemski in for Moody. The Celtics also with a sub. Pritchard's checked in for White. One shot. The free throw is off from Horford. You just get a feeling with Al Horford that he's going to make an impact either on the floor or in the locker room, no matter who he suits up for. Curry passes to Wiggins. Now here's Kaminga. Just five to shoot. Inside. And stolen by Brown. Tatum with it. Now Wiggins defending. From 11 feet away, it's Tatum working inside. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Pajemski into the lane. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Swatted by Horford. In terms of defense, Al Horford up there amongst the top. Curry from deep three-point land. Boston pulls it in. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there. And that, uh, that's unfortunate. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Shooting for Boston, Jalen Brown. Taking two shots. It's tied up with that one. And the Warriors make some changes. Looney's checked in for Jackson Davis. Peyton comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Heald is subbed in for Curry. Cadis checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. And here's Kaminga for three. Jalen Brown with a rebound. Austin on offense. They've outscored him 10 to 2 during this run. Holiday finds Brown. Over heel. Kaminga pulls it in. It's a close one here in San Francisco. It's off to Washington after this one, where they will face the Wizards. And that starts a four-game road trip for them. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Celtics. 
They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Out. Such great instincts and athletic oh, ability. Kaminga getting there to stop shots. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the third quarter here. From 12 feet. Ooh, Brown inside. Hey, he's more than just a shooter. Maybe they expended too much energy in the first half. They just look tired here on the defensive end. Back to Pajemski. Pass to Kaminga. And he lays it in. Yeah, Kaminga is a guy who does not back down. In fact, he tries to go through you. The Celtics have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Outside, Brown. Here's Pritchard. Back to Brown. Big hit from outside, Jalen Brown. In the first half, they shot a little over 30% from the field. But since the break, they've really managed to improve in that area. Kaminga with it. High arcing shot. No good there. And we've reached the end of the third. Austin out front, up four. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum in the front court. Holiday at the one, with White at the two. And it's Horford in at the center. Wiggins outside. Knocks it loose and stolen by Holiday. And that one drops. And the Celtics lead by six. And maybe they made some adjustments at the half. I mean, they're finally executing offensively. Pass to Green. Tatum against Kaminga. Nice D from Tatum. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Brown, no good. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. That's tipped. Here's Brown on the drive. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. And taking a quick gander here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. And not to mention, they're playing with great, great activity. A lot of blocked shots, good hands, active hands, nothing easy for the opposition. Wiggins for the triple! Wiggins making quick decisions with the ball, not wasting any time getting that shot off. Outside White. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Tatum finds Brown. 13 feet out. Again, Brown missing. Warriors trail by five. Now Wiggins. Here's Pajemski. Boston pulls it in. Horford's got six rebounds now in the game. Let's it fly. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by Holiday. Brown's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And he lobs it up. Wow, Kuminga playing way above the rim. What a setup for Kuminga. All he has to do is rise.
hands up and throw it down. Brown against Wiggins. Outside White. Back to Brown. Shoots over Wiggins. Oh, it's blocked by Green. I oh, like the extension there from Draymond Green reaching out and timing that one. Two minutes remaining in the game. Brown, no good. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. No good that time. Green with the defensive effort. Warriors trail by five. Pass to Kaminga. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got rebound number eight here already in the game. White. Oh, through contact. Time out, time out. White gets the finish. Great pass from a great leader, Drew Holiday. Golden State calls timeout. They're losing by seven. A minute 29 left in the fourth quarter. of his team points <laughs> so yeah it's obvious that he's the pick the defense has tried to slow him down but nothing has worked he has just owned them tonight this type of dominant performance is going to be talked about for a long time I'm telling you the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him you can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd let's check in with our reporter Ali LaForce I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. And they were blunt with their team, telling them if they want to win, the comeback has to start right now. They can't waste any possessions. Plus, they told the players, we need some stops. A very direct way to communicate, Brian. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Holiday passes to White. Brown with it. Outside Tatum. Outside White. Shot clock at six. Puts one up from 19. The shot by Holiday, no good. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. On the wing, Curry. He's covered by Holiday. And he buries it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Oh, man, the baby-faced assassin stepping up right there. Such a great score, and what a situation for Steph to get it done. And an intentional foul right there. First team foul. And so Horford will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Celtics, Jason Tatum. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Some padding here on the free throw line, some good work. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. That's a good effort from Curry, just jumping right into the key, not minding who's around and getting the call. the first one drops and that trims the lead to six 
and more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen, Curry making it look easy. And so Curry nails both of them. And they go to the Curry intentional foul. foul. Stephen Curry. Third personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Boston. Drew Holiday. At the line for two. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Timeout called. The Warriors. They're behind by seven. 26 seconds left to play in the fourth He's quarter of this one. Duff Nation, who's going home with a free teacher? Two-second difference between shot and game clock. And here's Green from the arc. And the Warriors miss again. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Curry against Holiday. So we see the Celtics get the win here. That's Just a game. gutsy performance on the road. It really Man, was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thank you. I'm here with Jason Tatum. And Jason, congratulations on the win. What did you like about this team's performance tonight? Uh, our toughness. Oh, um, man. You know, we're figuring it out. It's early. But uh, we're taking it game by game, quarter by quarter. And uh, everybody, everybody contributing. So, uh... Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, and our entire...